Hey everybody, my name is Kitam and welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. Picking up right where we uh, last bit, uh, back, uh, picking up right where we last left off, boys. Fighting this big ass dude with uh, the lamp and everything. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Whoa, watch out now. Yeah, watch out, boys. This guy is crazy. He's drunk as hell, so obviously it's a little bit uh, easier to fight him because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing right now. He's kind of look lost a little bit, boys. Watch out! Watch out, watch out, there we go. Uh, we need to find some elementals. Maybe there's some stuff in the, on the side. I guess not, boys. So let's just fire him. There we go. Just like that, boys. Here, uh, kick his ass. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Come on, there we go. And we're doing a lot of damage because of the EX uh, thing. There we go. And just get his ass. Get his ass real quick, boys. All right. There we go. How about we grab him? Oh, okay. So grabbing does not work. That was actually kind of easy a little bit. We're actually getting him a little bit. How did we just block that shit? That must have hurt like crazy. Yo, we're two big dudes fighting out, boys. Give me that shit. Give me that shit right now. That's mine. This lamp is mine right now, boys. He ain't gonna get it. Big ass dude. Unbelievable that fight. Yo, look at that. God damn, that was something. We sure showed him. What is he, the Undertaker? <laughs> Just woke up like that, the hell? You got more new? Well, aren't you a tough bastard? He sure is. That's what you get for drinking too much. That's what you get, my guy. You hear me? Top shelf shit only. Shushan, please get a grip. Any more and you'll start barfing blood. Why don't we just call it here? No more. I need more. be a buzzkill but party's over for now handshakes all around and to all a good night a whole clan just got wrecked by me boys so-called leader got fucked as hey. well ain't nothing they can do against me maybe if he wasn't drunk he could have stood a chance at least I don't know, but I should probably call the cops in case they come knocking again. Hey, Kaito. What they said about mom being a killer? You think that's true? I mean, it could be true. We can't really rule, uh, rule it out. Our goal is to find Mikiko, whatever she's caught up in. I mean, I know that. I'll drive. I'd like to get to the bottom of this as well. Oh, you sure? Shoot, <laughs> that'll save us big on train fare. I mean, uh, that's the thing. Our main objective here is just to find Mikiko. After we find her, whatever, I guess, we did our job. We've completed it. Doesn't look like we're being followed. There's not much, uh, nothing else to us to do than just find her. It doesn't matter what she's doing or what she did in the prior past. That's not uh, none so, of your our concerns, really. What sort of uh, relationship did you have with uh, Mikiko-san? A complicated um, one. Where's this coming from all of a sudden? When Mikiko saw Kamuro Theater on television, she looked like she was lost in the past. 
And the moment I told you that, you wore the same look. Except yours was more sullen. So, I'm guessing Mikiko's connection to the place had something to do with you. In Perhaps some fashion, you yes, I guess. Involved romantically? Good guess. So, you were then. <sighs> there was a time I thought I'd be with her forever. Forever? You mean marriage? What happened? Well, I happened to be with the Yakuza at the time. As you can imagine, Mikiko wanted me out. Easier said than done. My boss had taken a bullet that nearly prompted an all-out war. I couldn't just up and leave. Do you mean to say you chose the Yakuza over Mikiko? That's just how it goes, my guy. You gotta make a choice. End, yeah, Death or romance. Which do you choose? For Mikiko, it was the last straw. I was out on a raid when she left. Came home to a note in an empty apartment. Kaito-san, let me ask you something. Do you still love her? Even now? Love her? You know she's got a husband, right? That's not the question, Kaido. That isn't what I'm asking. That's not the point, yeah. I'm asking how you feel in your heart. Ethical issues and legal ramifications aside, you can't always choose who you love. So I think it's okay to be honest with yourself. At least listening to your feelings isn't a crime. Uh-huh. Besides, I'm sure it wasn't easy letting a woman like Mikiko-san go. Am I wrong? Yeah. And what makes you think that? Call it a hunch. But am I wrong? Hard to say. There may be some regret. Ah, it's hard to say, to be honest. I think I like it where I am right now, even though I'm kicking a lot of butts and asses. And I'm getting hurt sometimes. Being with talk is a lot more simpler than being uh, with a woman, boys. I feel like that's how he would think at I least. I always figured I was over her for good. Gotta let the past be the past, you know? But then, once I started searching for Mikiko with her kid, these thoughts kept coming at me. Like, maybe I could have done things different. Now, it changes stuff. The fact that I, 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 we got a kid now, it's interesting. You got some actual responsibilities, aware, which is Kaito -san. not I great at all. Feelings for Mikiko -san. And if she never returns them, then I fully accept that. That said, I wouldn't hesitate to give up everything for her, my own life included. Well, good for you. I know I you wouldn't. Serious about that? Completely. I've never met a woman like her in my life. So if we do end up finding her, I intend to propose to her. Wait. Yeah, but that's that's not gonna work. Well, before you get carried away. She has a husband. She's already she's married. married. The hell are you talking about? I'm aware. But if I don't at least share how I feel. Unless she marries you under another name or something, which even then would be kind of strange. I'm not sure the ramifications of all that. <laughs> not a bad resolution in my book. The other question is, what happens if he re uh, she rejects him? I mean, she could literally simply reject him. What, uh, what happens to him then? Does he let go? A fire, perhaps? Those punks earlier? They were screaming about some boss of theirs getting killed. Hmm. The same goddamn Lotus guys. Are you shitting me? You're at it again. Either way, I hope my boss gets it too. <laughs> hey fellas, did you see a building on fire? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. I think around Tenkaichi Street. Kaito-san. Yeah, let's move. All right. Let's move the fuck out of here. We gotta go. All right, so new info and everything. Got it. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go fast, boys. 
Go, go, go. Something's up right here. I think it's our building that's actually on fire or something, boys. I think they messed up with our building, which is would not be good at all. So let's just move. Move right now and uh, hopefully it's not going to be what uh, the place we think it is. That's not good. Who the fuck is this? That's her. Mikiko. That's Mikiko. What the hell? What is she doing? Yo, no, let us through. I told you it's not safe. Crap. Yo, she's gone full bad shit crazy. I should be able to get up through there. Shirakawa san. Watch June for me. Huh? Holy shit, Mikiko is actually alive, boys. What do you know? All right. We gotta catch her off. Gotta go on this side, boys. Now, how am I gonna climb this? I'm no tack, boys, so. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight these Where's dudes. Where's the woman? We can get around her from up here. Hey, you blockheads are Crimson Lotus, right? Huh? Oh, shit, it's that guy from the doctors. So, but your little plan's getting shut down. You're okay. getting fucked today. Uh -oh. I got a business to attend to. Got a woman that I gotta, uh, I gotta talk to right now. To finish my job, so get the hell out of my way right now. Let's go. There we go, boys. We're gonna kick his ass. Why does he have multiple health? Like, the, is he like uh, a special boss or something? What the hell's going on here? What the hell? Holy. Watch out now. Okay, I can't grab him. Really? Watch out now. Got him. Spear. There we go. How about we grab this shit? Oh, okay. There we go. No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, judo takedown. All right, all right. I see you. I see you, my dude. All right, grab this shit. You, what? Okay, chill, chill. What the hell? Holy. This guy's got to learn to chill. All right. Grab this... Sh that, grab this uh, the, this uh, can right here. Come on, get him. No, no, no. Whoa. Okay, finish off the spear. I was... Struggling like crazy against this guy. What is this supposed to be a captain or something? What the hell was that? All right, she. I, we gotta make our way up there, boys. Go, go, go. Gotta catch her off, boys. Before she runs off, she's probably gonna run off anyways. At that point, how do I get to there? That's not. That's no good. Gotta get to that door, boys. Gotta cut across. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just like that. Yo, the thing is, what the hell is she doing on that roof, boys? Huh? Who the hell are you? None of your concern. Into the light, punk. Oh really? You got a gun? Let me straight that for you, buddy. Get the hell out of here. Get that gun out of here, all right? I got something else to do right now. Don't go picking fights you can't win. All right, we gotta go, boys. We gotta go. Uh, first off. We do have some skill points, 90,000 skill points. Boost attack, EX enhancer, there we go. And boost health, of course. Abilities, let me find out. Desperate, do a dime. Bonding bound, uh, budding bound, there we go. That's perfect. We got bruiser, we've got uh, griping pile driver, let's do that one. Fair or oh, well to arms. Just like that. And we also have Bruiser's Hidden Arts. Oh, we got something else we can get. Is there anything else? Yes. Secrets of the Bruiser. Just like that. And we've got the tank as well. Perfect Iron Guard. We're going to do Iron Brick. Just like that. And last but not least. Uh, Heart of Diversion. No, I only have like enough for this. A Prime Tackle. There we go. Prime Tackle, boys. Just like that. Let's go. Upgrading my character big time right now. We're gonna be, be much better at fighting stands. The uh, fighting. All right, she's just up ahead. More of these dudes. What the hell? God damn it! I can't tell what's going on from here. Get out of my way, asshole! You get out of my way. Yeah, exactly. 
Don't steal my line. What the hell is wrong with you? Get it. Get it right now. There we go. Get your ass. Perfect, boys. All right, who's next? Who is next, boys? We gotta get. Uh, we gotta get to her. How do I get to her? It's like a goddamn labyrinth in here. What the hell? Okay, so I'm, I'm figuring out. It's probably towards that direction. Yeah, there we go, boys. Hold it right there. How many times you gotta? Uh, okay. You got a katana, my guy. You fuck off! You're in my way! Get the hell out of here, buddy! There we go! Dr uh, get your ass! Yeah, just like that. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you are not getting away with this. There we go. Okay, there we go. How about I just... How about I just do that again? Just continue to do that. Now, I'm bleeding internally, which is not good. There we go. Just get that, the toughness and everything. Oh, watch out now. Get your ass. I'm almost done for. Oh, boy. I'm gonna need to heal myself up with some items, boys. This is not good. Okay, let me uh, just go ahead into items. Toughness. Uh, restores a little bit of health. And uh, let's keep getting more and get stamina as well. All right, let's go, boys. Boom. Just like that. Grab your ass. There we go. And... GEX action, maybe? Maybe? I don't know, boys. That would have been great. Boom! Just like that. Alright. Finish him off. You are good. Okay. No, no, you don't. Spear on your ass. EX action. Just like that. And we're about to finish him off, boys. Grab him. Grab him. No, you grab him. Come on. And finish it off with the electric chair. That's about it. There we go, boys. Ooh, I was starting to really lose a lot of health right there. That's I'm not good at all, boys. Can I move? There we go. Got hope right here. Let's go. Let's get up. Now, Tuck, where are the others in Crimson Lotus? Uh, I don't know. After I cut my ties with them, I lost track of all the guys in that king. The fact that I'm even here is just a coincidence. You're a liar! Uh, hey! Where's that backup? If they don't get here soon, then Nishimura's dead! Superman punch! Mikiko! Long time no see, girl. Tell me why. Mikiko. They killed them. My who killed family. who? They took my mother and my father. Mo! They burned them alive! What? Are you sure? I thought Maho Chan's stalker was behind them. That's just the lies they told me. They're the ones who really killed them. Unbelievable. Shizaki-san! Damn you! Die! Ah, shit hurt, man. My arm. No choice. No! Brace for it. Well, we got a glimpse of her, I guess, for a split, a couple of minutes.
We got to talk to her a little bit. We know more, a lot more, oh, but he's up. She's gone again. It's gonna be tough to Wait, find her. Where's Mikiko? What happened after I went down? Well, the owner of that security company got shot to death on the roof. His name was Ashizaki. His office was burning up too. You think it's the killer's work? Not sure. I can't find those details anywhere. Gotcha. Oh, and to top it off, Nishimura, a man who was visiting Ashizaki last night, was found dead in an alley this morning. She's gone on a rampage spree, boys. She's out my there killing family. everybody. They took my mother and my father. She's really going oh. mad. They burned them alive. Uh, by the way, Kaito, the police came by earlier. Uh, they said to contact them once you're up. I think they wanted to question you. Uh, just what I need. Yeah, I didn't need that. Last thing I need is cops on my ass. Raised your shoulder, and by some miracle, your bones are still intact. The doctor was amazed you're still alive. Said that fall would have at the very least paralyzed anyone else. Hmm. Well, I say it's time to get back at it. The uh, Kaito-san. Lying around on my ass won't get me closer to Mikiko. Plus, I'd rather not deal with the cops. Let me go with you. All right. Sure. Why not? Take a look at this. Nothing else we can do. Uh, it's not like you're gonna hurt me and if or anything. on the four victims murdered in Camarocho. I put them together last night after a bit of research. Oh, nice work. In summary, all the victims seem to be ordinary people, but that may only be on the surface. According to the rumors on the internet, of which I unearthed a substantial number. Many of the victims had rather suspicious backgrounds. Some may have even changed their names. Sounds about right for one of these little thug groups. I mean, it's one just the rumors. Others. What the fuck do you I mean? You're talking about rumors. Rumors aren't shit. They're not proof. He acts like he's in some college club without a care in the world. So it seems. Uh, here's another interesting tidbit. Some of the victims had a fighting record. Meaning they competed in underground tournaments. But each one was found successfully subdued, even showing signs of force consistent with interrogation. Mikiko did always know how to handle herself. Yeah, she kept it up with the workouts and the kickboxing, even after Dad came into the picture. She could totally take some thug one on one. Mom's tough as nails. Hot damn. Anyway, what's our next move? Right. We should probably go investigate the crime scene. Why can't you? What, crime what scene could we find a crime scene? Exactly. We what the hell? Place what you might. What do you mean? Might be some clues left to find. I see. What type of clues? Though I imagine the scene. All right. I guess we busy. could find something. I'm Will not sure what really though. You on site? Not sure what's in his I'm mind go right now. Avoid the cops altogether. I'm gonna sneak into the place. Of course I have to sneak in, boys, well, because why the hell not? Way to do it. Catch you later then. Mind serving as our alibi while we're over there? I'll give the police a good answer. Just make sure you find Mikiko san and keep her from dirtying her hands. June and Kaito san? What is this? Oh, crap. Well, look oh, who it is. Don't worry. We can explain. But uh what brings you here of all places? Well, one of my police contacts got in touch. Said a boy here matched June's description. Uh Well, June, what do you have to say for yourself after you go wandering off for days on end? Yeah, like you even give a shit. Just go back home by yourself. June! Can we just... <sighs> Never mind. Actually, you and I might want to have a talk, Sanamoto-san. It's about June and Mikiko. Uh, what's going on with Mikiko? We've got a clue, my guy. I'll just a big-time clue. 
Turns out your wife's still alive. Yeah, it turns out she's, she's alive and well. She's alive? My Mikiko? Where is she? Is she alright? That's the thing though. Right. We don't know where she is. How I put it. It's pretty complicated to explain. Complicated? To think all that was happening. And Mikiko, possibly a murderer? Wouldn't get it past I her though. I mean, she revenge. was pretty... She's uh, she she was doing a lot of other stuff back in the past as well, so... I see. She was letting it uh, done by me, but we had always believed it was I know I don't think it's uh, we can get uh, now, get. Uh, I don't think it's out of the possibility that she would be a murderer. Obviously, really she killed a bunch of people. Crimson Lotus orchestrated this stalker story or whatever. That's what she said. It's likely the stalker got pinned as a scapegoat for the whole thing. Now, can you give me anything on your end? How's Crimson Lotus fit into all this? Nothing's making any sense so far. It couldn't be. What? What's wrong? To tell you the truth, this may have been set into motion even before the arson. You see, Mikiko's family had been under pressure from a certain real estate broker to unload their property. As I recall, that broker was flush with foreign capital and seeking land for a sizable new complex. Mikiko's parents stood to profit quite substantially, were they to take the offer. But I was told they rejected whatever came their way. This went on for quite some time. And then the tragedy happened. Got it. So Crimson Lotus really was behind it all. Mikiko's parents had to die because of some land deal? Yes. Although a group like that may have planned to kill them all along. Anyhow, once Mikiko's family was gone, their land was inherited by a distant relative. And since they wanted nothing to do with any stigmatized property, they sold it to the broker in the end. So maybe Mikiko got too close to the truth, and it nearly killed her. Yeah, that ought to explain it. I mean, why the parents? The case, why did the parents the not go for the, the deal, though? I don't know. If, if it was just me, family, people why? were coming. Uh, random people were showing up, telling you, "You know what? You gotta Taking move." But we're giving you a lot of money. Profits. You're gonna be rich. I'm like, what "All right, fine. I'll just find a better house." What the fuck is the point? Like, why would the parents Sonomoto, be so there's stupid as to refuse? I mean, there's nothing. A house is a house. It's you can just buy a new one. It doesn't matter, really. I don't see the, uh, I didn't see the point of staying in one house. I know. Uh, for the rest of your uh, he life, you're really. Real dad, right? Or at least he hopes you are. Uh, how'd you know? Well, June and I got into an argument once, and he said as much to me at the time. Sorry to hear that. Make no mistake, June is definitely my son. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, I think he is. Down, I'm pretty sure he is I'm your sure son. June understands that as well. This fantasy he spun up to feel better? Symptoms of a typical teenager. You sure he knows what's what? I am. This is nothing but a phase he's going through. I think it was right around elementary school when it started. He began stealing away Mikiko's diary, reading it over and over in secret. And you, the Yakuza with a heart of gold, were his favorite character. Right. June told me that himself. It's because I let work take priority. Even when June was little, I never spent the time with him I should have. And whenever the stress from work got to my head, well, let's just say I reacted poorly even to a child seeking daddy's attention. So I fully understand why he latched on to Mikiko's writings. It's nothing I'm surprised or jealous about. The boy needs an actual father figure. Well, no shit. I mean, you're his dad. That's what do you sad. expect? I hope you'll forgive me for letting him believe what he wants. This guy is an idiot, boys, I swear. Of course. It's pathetic for me to be saying that. Uh, shoot. It's from one of the board members. 
I don't mind going after your son, Saramoto-san. And when I find him, I'll send him on home. But you're gonna need to set him straight. Yeah, you need to key you need Excuse to do something about it. Yes, this is Saramoto. Right. Thank you for your help with that contract. <sighs> send me an invoice for your expenses. I'll cover them. Yes, that sounds excellent. Although there's one small issue. Looks like uh, we're resuming the uh, contract we had with him, I guess, that we refused to do. Guess we're actually Don't resuming it. That. He's a busy guy. Well, now that that asshole's gone, how about we get back on the case? Yeah, All we right. got stuff to do. At least he's filled up on this, uh, on everything, and uh, he's gonna pay us now. Yes. I guess we're getting paid getting since he's filled up. The cops see us. If it happens, it happens. Yeah, whatever. If if they caught us, they caught us. Hopefully they won't though. Alright, head to the burnt building. Let's do this shit. There's a lot of gang members around, boys. What we're gonna do about this, I'm not sure. I don't wanna really exactly fight them, but if I have to, you know. Just fuck off. I mean the building is right there. There I go, we're right here, so the cops are are all around though. Okay, so maybe I gotta find something that could distract them, or maybe... Okay, so I gotta go across. Alright, so... Let's just go across a little bit right here. Oh, across right here. Yeah, we went here before. Go the same path, boys. Exactly the same path we went before. More cops. Alright, they were ready for this. Knee deep in cops. Can we get around them? Only if we... I sneak in. Jim, you wait out here. Any Bato guys show up, just shout for the cops and they'll scatter. Right on. Good luck. Alright, I'll do my thing, I guess. We gotta sneak by. So we're gonna sneak by in the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.